Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're returning, you are real one. And if you're new, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. Once you do subscribe, click on the bell right next to it so you can be notified every single time I post. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about things entrepreneurship has taught me so far. I want this to be real, raw, and transparent. As always, I try to be real on my channel. And I want to be relatable to you guys. So maybe you're wanting to become an entrepreneur and you want to know what to expect. Or maybe you are an entrepreneur and you're dealing with certain things that I'm dealing with and you could probably relate. I wanna let you guys know that you're not alone with whatever you're going through, you're not alone. Trust me, you're not alone. You may be not motivated or discouraged or taking a break or whatever it is. I wanna let you know that all of that is normal. So as always, grab your tea, grab your snacks. I got my tea right here. So this is actually one of my favorite mugs, my other favorite mug that said, get shit done broke. But this one says, let all that you do be done in love. First of Corinthians 16, 14. So, Grab your tea, grab your snacks, and let's get into it. So the number one thing that entrepreneurship has taught me is that it is harder than it looks. This is why I never like rushed my process. I knew that becoming an entrepreneur is something I always wanted to do. And something is crazy, like looking back, I remember talking to my cousin about it, like, oh my God. And like, you know, I thought you had to go to school to become successful. But then I'm like, I wanna actually work for myself and entrepreneurship and da da da. I was like looking into all of that even before knowing what the hell it was. So it's something that I've always wanted to do, but it's easy to look at social media and see, you know, the good. A lot of people show their success, but don't show the struggle. A lot of people show the orders, but don't see when they not making money. So this is something that I personally have learned. And even like, for example, me, I'm not showing you guys everything that's going on behind the scenes. You guys don't see the times where I'm crying. Y'all don't see the times where I'm up at five, six o'clock in the morning because I'm not, I'm not able to work throughout the day because I do have a son. So you guys don't see a lot of the things. You guys don't see when I'm not motivated. You guys don't see when I'm dealing with my anxiety and like, just, oh, uh, y'all don't see none of that. So it is easier said than done. Be being an entrepreneur is easier said than done. And it's very, very hard. It's an emotional roller coaster. Like some days I'm happy, some days I'm sad, some days. Like, I literally saw this video on YouTube, not YouTube, it was on Instagram and it was like. <laughs> it is easier than it looks that's that so number two entrepreneurship has taught me a lot of patience 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 okay now all of all the qualities that i have you know charismatic ambitious you know caring funny patient what has to be all the way down here i'm not gonna lie patience is down here i feel like i was born with zero patience i feel like now, being a mom is something that is very hard for me because I never have patience. So sometimes Josiah does something and I'm like, Ada, remember patience because it's a baby. Same with entrepreneurship, you know? I'm learning to be patient with myself and the person I'm becoming. And I'm learning to be patient with my goals because I know it's not gonna happen overnight. I'm learning to be patient with building my brands. I'm learning to be patient with other things that I'm going to dip my toes into and different business ventures and different things. And, you know, stepping out of my comfort zone, I'm learning to be patient with myself. I know that I have a lot of goals. I know that I want to accomplish a lot in life. Not I want, I will accomplish a lot in life and I will accomplish all my goals. But this is something that entrepreneurship has taught me and that is patience. Patience, 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 because it's not going to happen overnight. It has also shown me to have patience with others. Being an entrepreneur and being a YouTuber and doing like, I recently got into Instagram, but doing all of these things, you're, you're, how do I say this? You're basically serving other people. You're helping other people. With my videos, my intention is to help others. My intention is to provide positive energy. If you feel it, you feel it. And if you don't, like some people, like no matter how happy I am, how positive I am, some people will generally just hate. Okay, and I that's something that I have to learn. I have to learn to be patient with others. I'm putting my business online. I'm putting myself out there. So I have to deal with opinionated people i have to deal with the hate so it has taught me to be patient with people you know if i'm putting out my positive energy if i'm putting out my work out there you know i have to be patient i have to be patient 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 because some people are just dumb 
I'm sorry, some people are just dumb. So it has taught me to have patience with others, have patience with myself, have patience with my goals. It has also taught me to have patience when things are going completely wrong, okay? So I kind of touched up on this on my live. I am a perfectionist. I want things to be perfect right away. I put a lot of thought into my brand before I launch. I put a lot of thought into my branding. I put a lot of thought into my marketing. And I wanted things to be this and this and this and this and this. But along the way, I've learned that things are not going to go my way. A lot of the things that happen, you know, it's not going to go my way. The money I want to make, I'm not going to make it right away. You know, the things that I want to accomplish is not going to happen. So right away, it's going to happen, but not right away. So it has taught me to be patient with my goals, be patient with my business, be patient even when things are going completely wrong, be patient even when my anxiety is acting up and I want to cry and I don't want to do anything. It has taught me to just have patience overall. Being a mom, like, oh, I don't even want to start crying, but being a mom, being a mom has taught me a lot of patience and it's something that I'm super grateful for it. And it's like really, really hard, especially being an entrepreneur and a mom, I don't want to cry, oh my God. So yeah, it has taught me a lot of patience and to just be kind with myself. <sighs> oh, I don't want to cry, stop crying, stop, 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 okay. So it has taught me to be kind with myself. It has taught me to be gentle with myself because the woman I'm becoming, I'm becoming her every single day. And I am proud of who the hell I am. What happened? Hmm? Okay, you don't want to sit. Don't be touching stuff. Okay, so I'm better. Okay, so basically it has taught me to just trust the process, trust God, you know, have patience because at the end of the day, God will never fail me. At the end of the day, I'm in this for the long run. So yeah, that is something that entrepreneurship has definitely taught me is to be more patient overall with life, myself, my goals, everything. Yeah, I kind of got emotional with that just because I'm very impatient and entrepreneurship has definitely humbled the fuck out of me and it will humble the hell out of you. So make sure that you're just patient and being kind with yourself and taking your time and trusting your process because at the end of the day, you will become who you want to become, but it's not gonna happen overnight. So, number two. Number three, entrepreneurship has taught me how important self-care is. So I've always been big on self-care. I've always taken time for me, but becoming a mom and an entrepreneur and a business owner and just so many things all at once has taught me that if I don't take care of myself, that it's so easy to lose myself. You know, I got to the point where I'm like, damn, is this something that I want to do? Because it's so hard, you know, putting your on to putting your on to it plus putting your on to being a mom. Plus there's so many things that I'm passionate about and that I want to do. But if I don't take care of myself, you know, self-care is not always, oh, get a massage, oh, get, a, you know, a bubble bath, which is, that's part of self-care, but self-care is more than that. Self-care is allowing yourself, this kind of ties into patience and, and just taking, trusting your journey. That is also self-care. Self-care is you know, you have to make sure that you're taking care of your mental health, you're taking care of your physical health, you have to make sure that you're taking time for you because your business is not going anywhere. You know, you're not going anywhere. You just have to make sure that you're present. This is something that I've been practicing is being present and mindfulness and allowing myself to be present here in this moment right now and embracing, embracing everything that I'm going through. And that's something that entrepreneurship has definitely taught me is that self-care is important. If I don't take care of myself, there's only one me. There's only one me. And in order for me to provide quality content for you guys, in order for me to put my all into YouTube, put my all into my business. So also being a mom, in order for me to be the best mom that I can be, if I don't take care of myself, I can't do that. I can't put my all into taking care of Josiah, to, into you know doing YouTube, into doing a lot of different things and planning a lot of different things that I want to do, I can't do that if I'm not taking care of myself. So self-care is important. Even if you take 10, 20, 30, 40, even a whole day, a week, months to take care of yourself, do it. You know, it's not selfish. And even if it is, who cares? But yeah, self-care is definitely important. And if you're not doing that, Come on, sis. I don't know what you're doing. So number four, entrepreneurship has taught me to not compare my journey to somebody else's. You know, to be transparent, I actually made this video, how to not compare yourself. And I was actually dealing with that 
at that moment. And that was like months ago. This is something that currently now, now I check myself. I'm like, ah, I check myself. I try to see their life in their perspective. I try to like step out of Ada real quick. I step out of me and I go into like, if, if I were in their shoes and I'm like, you know what? They probably worked really, really hard for what where they're at right now. They probably did so much to get to where they're at or they're probably dealing with a lot of different things. They probably struggling just like me. So when you find yourself comparing yourself to somebody, uh, check yourself. I, I have to check myself. I have to be like, ah, 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 Ada. No, at the end of the day, God made us, God made us different for a reason. God has different goals for us. We all have different goals. We all have a purpose. We all have different destinations. So me comparing myself, that's, I'm playing myself. So I've learned to not compare my journey. Even if somebody's doing the same thing as me, I don't care, I'm not comparing. Comparison is literally the thief of joy. You can be so happy and come across something and look at it and then, like look at you like dang but i don't have that am i good enough am i doing and you start this is where all the self-doubt and all that shit comes in so i tend to if i compare myself i protect myself and unfollow or just ignore it or just check myself you know try to step out of ada and look at where where they're coming from like if they can achieve it so can i but it's no comparing and this is where like I love that Kayla said this in my live. If you haven't checked out my stepping out of my comfort zone video, I'm gonna link it up in the cards. But basically she says success does not have a timeline. And I love that she said that. So yeah, this is actually another business owner and she talked about success not having a timeline. Basically she talked about her struggling for 10, 10 plus months, not getting sales, not doing, you know, her business was stagnant. But guess what? Success doesn't have a timeline. So if you're comparing yourself, you're just playing yourself. So I've learned that even if I get sales or don't get sales, I can't compare my business to anybody else's because at the end of the day, I have a vision for my business. I have some, I have things that I want to accomplish and things that I do. And I know God put me here for a purpose and I have to live in my truth and live within my purpose. If I'm comparing myself to somebody else, like I said, I'm playing myself. So I've learned to not do that. I also know now doing YouTube and, and posting on Instagram and doing all these different things that social media is a highlight reel. This is why I try to be a breath of fresh air to a lot of you guys because I know that people be capping on social media. People really be lying and people just showcase the good and not the bad. And of course I do it too. You know, we all do it. We, we don't want to talk about our struggles and things like that, but I want to let you guys know that I go through a lot of things too. You know, I try to be as real and transparent as possible, but the, without oversharing, without crossing any boundaries. And that's something that you have to understand. Social media is a highlight reel. And this is something that I've learned. It's a highlight reel. And I can't compare my struggles and what I know about myself with what I with what somebody else wants you to know about them. Cause you in reality don't know what they're going through. So just an example, this is something that also made me learn to not compare myself. I've actually met people on Instagram first and I meet them in person and they're nothing, their lifestyle is nothing like on Instagram. So, you know, there's always a difference between your social media presence and then your real life presence. But a lot of people don't live how they live online. So don't even let None of that affects you. At the end of the day, I'm comparing myself to yesterday Ada, okay? Yesterday Ada and today Ada are two different people because every day I'm learning, every day I'm evolving, every day I am growing. So another thing that entrepreneurship has taught me is that I am not alone, okay? There's a lot of people that feel how I feel, you know? And this is something that you have to get out there and try to network and connect with other entrepreneurs because your minds can trick you into feeling like, no, you're crazy. Like, why are you feeling this way, you know? There's a lot of entrepreneurs, and entrepreneurship is so hard. So if you don't network with other people that are on the same boat as you and going through the same things, you're gonna feel like, you know, you're doing this totally wrong. You're gonna feel like you're alone. And that's the thing, I'm one of the first entrepreneurs in my family. I would feel like everything that I'm feeling I'm, I'm going crazy, but me connecting with other entrepreneurs made me realize, and this is something that I definitely recommend, like go out there and talk to other people, step out of your comfort zone and connect with other people that may be doing the same thing as you. Because if you're like me, I come from a family that I'm the only one 
doing YouTube in my family. People, they don't do none of this stuff. They don't do YouTube. They don't post on Instagram. My family is old school. They don't have businesses. A lot of them work nine to fives or go to school or don't do anything. So this is really me stepping out of my comfort zone because a lot of them look at me like I'm crazy. They don't understand what I'm doing. And it's really hard when, I mean, now my mom understands that I'm doing the money coming in, but they don't, my family overall, do, they don't understand what I'm doing, what I'm up to. They don't know my goals. A lot of the times, my family was actually very disappointed that I dropped out of school. I remember dropping out of school and going through so, so much criticism and a lot of people telling me like, oh my God, like now you're not going to do anything with your life. I remember also getting, like me also finding out that I was pregnant and I told my mom and like that came into like the whole family knowing and like everybody was so disappointed, like it was just, uh, I dealt with a lot of things, but me connecting with other entrepreneurs, they don't necessarily have to be mothers, but m me connecting with other entrepreneurs that are have been in business for longer than I have has motivated me and has let me know that I am not alone with things that I'm feeling, things that I'm going through. I know that I'm not the only entrepreneur that deals with anxiety. And I will never sit here and self-diagnose myself, even though I probably have. But I'm going to let a professional do that. You know, I'm looking for a therapist and things like that. But I know I deal with anxiousness and something that I've been dealing with since I was little. But now as I'm getting older, I'm becoming more self-aware about it. So this is something I'm, I'm continuously learning and growing. But me connecting with other entrepreneurs has definitely helped me realize that I'm not alone. You don't see a lot of people talking about what I'm talking about. And this is why I created this series and want to talk about these things because I want you guys to know that you're not alone either. Whatever you're going through, if you're feeling discouraged, we all feel discouraged. We all sometimes lack motivation. We all sometimes feel like giving up. But just know that you're not alone. You know, entrepreneurship is going to bring that out of you. <laughs> it's going to bring that out of you. And that's something that I've learned. And you just got to put one foot in front of the other and keep going and keep pushing. So definitely connect with other people that may be doing the same thing as you or try to collaborate or try to get different perspectives and get opinions on different things not don't let none of those things cloud your judgment but just it's just a reminder that you are not alone and maybe you don't want to reach out to people you know watching this video i hope it helps you realize that things that i go through a lot of people go through and it is okay you're not crazy you're not you, you're not a bad business owner. You don't suck. You know, you're doing amazing. You're doing great. And that's something I have to remind myself every single day that I am doing amazing. I'm doing great. And I can't let my anxiety and my negative thoughts, you know, cloud my judgment or cloud the vision. I had to burn that candle out because another thing that entrepreneurship has taught me is to normalize mental health. Mental oh, health, yeah, I feel like it's shunned yeah. upon in the uh, entrepreneurial community. People don't talk about it. People are just, Shh. no, we're normalizing mental health. Yeah. Being an entrepreneur definitely has taught me that it's okay to deal with anxiety. It's okay to deal with depression. It's okay to not have it all together. It's okay to sometimes not want to wake up in the morning. It is okay. You know, it is okay. We all go through it, but this is something that we need to normalize, you know, mental health. It's something I've always been big on, but I haven't really talked about it, talked about it because people don't talk about it. But I'm like, uh-uh, if I'm big on it, if this is something I'm passionate about, if this is something I deal with, I need to talk about it. So in the entrepreneur community, a lot of people don't talk about mental health, but I want to be that person. You know, I'm not, a, I'm not like a professional. I'm not licensed or anything, but I want to talk about my experience. So I feel like it's okay to talk about mental health in the entrepreneur community because especially all the things that we go through like you gotta really are you really built for this like it's hard there's times where like oh my god y'all don't even understand my emotions my emotions literally are all over the place but this is where seeking a professional for help comes into play i'm currently looking for a therapist i don't know if i'm going to definitely share that journey with you guys but i'm looking for a therapist and i'm looking to talk to somebody about things that I've been through and things that I'm currently going through. You know, it's, it's YouTube helps me a little with my mental health, but I really feel like I need to talk to somebody about it. You know, journaling my thoughts definitely helps. And also like, you know, talking to myself and self-reflecting and things like that. But like I said, I've been dealing with mental health since I was little. And this is something that is so sad because I didn't even know what it was. You know, I thought I was crazy because mental health is not normalized 
in the entrepreneur community and it's not normalized in my family. Like I said, my family is old school. You know, they say, oh yeah, get better, go to sleep, do this, do that. But no, you have to realize that mental health is real. <laughs> Anxiety is real. Depression is real. Bipolar disorder, it is real. And these are things that if you don't control them, if you're not aware of what you're going through, if you're not aware of your feelings, and if you're not willing to embrace it, yes, it's, it, you know, it'll doing certain things will ease it. But if you don't really understand what you're going through, you're really going to feel like you're going crazy. And throughout a lot of years when I was young, I felt that way because I didn't know better. I didn't know any better. But now I'm being older and I'm educating myself and I'm looking for help and I'm, you know, looking out for people that are maybe going through the same thing and maybe dealing with what I'm dealing with. It's, it is normal. It's okay. And we should definitely be able to talk about it in the entrepreneur community. We should be able to talk about it and it should be something that is normal, but I feel like it's really not. So yeah, it just definitely has taught me that we are all a work in progress. I'm a work in progress. You know, I'm okay with not having everything together. I'm okay with not knowing everything. I'm okay with dealing with certain things. I'm okay with taking breaks. I'm okay. And that takes me into the next thing entrepreneurship has taught me that it is okay to take breaks. You know, a lot of people will tell you, grind, 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 don't take a break, keep posting, keep doing this, keep doing that. I'm not an advocate for just killing yourself. I, I'm all for being passionate about your brand, putting your on to my into your brand like I do it. You know, I'm very passionate about what I do, but it's okay to take a break. So normalize putting yourself first. This kind of was into self-care. Normalize putting you first. It's okay if you don't post for a day or a few weeks on Instagram. It's okay. Your followers are still going to be there. Your supporters are still going to be there. People that truly understand will under they will understand. Like if they truly love you and support you, they will understand. You know, not posting on your story, let me be the one to tell you. It is okay. Your sales will come. You know, your process will come, but you need to learn to trust it. You need to learn to take breaks. Of course, like if you're tired, we all get tired, you know? We all get tired. And if the, if it's just your regular tired, then okay, keep pushing. But if it's tired, tired, where you're mentally, physically, emotionally drained, where you can't keep going, take a break. Take a break. And this is something that I've learned to do. I'm taking a break. You know, I, I take breaks and I... And throughout that, it's not just breaking, not doing nothing completely. It's working on myself, evolving, learning what works and what doesn't work, becoming more self-aware about what I'm doing. Sometimes you may be grinding, grinding, grinding. You don't know what you're doing. You're just running on autopilot. But something that I've learned is that taking a break is okay. Let's normalize taking a break as an entrepreneur. Let's normalize taking a break in business. You know, the money gonna come. A lot of people tell you to not take breaks, but those people been in the game for two, three, four years now. You know, they're, they, they, they've they been in the game, but guess what? When they were first starting off like me, they might have quit for a month and then, you know, went back into it. Or may, they might have stopped for a few months and rebranded or did whatever. So it is okay to take a break. You know, and I'm not saying like take a break and just quit and none of that. I'm saying take a break to really work on yourself because in order for you to put your on to your brand, something that I'm learning, in order for me to put my on to my brand, in order for me to execute the vision that I want, in order for me to get closer to my goals, if I don't take a break to put me first, it's not going to happen. So I'm learning to do the inner work. I'm learning to be kind to myself, be patient with myself, and just learn how to take breaks when I need it. When I feel like my body is shutting down on me, uh -uh, taking a break. I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> taking a break. You know, I'm gonna be back with the YouTube videos. I'm definitely big on trusting your process. Believe in yourself, and I know that I'm going to be huge. I know I'm gonna really be shutting out people, but this is something that trusting your process is definitely a big part of being an entrepreneur and something that I definitely, definitely learn to do. Last but not least, I'm sorry, this is like a long video. I love talking and providing value. The last thing that I'm going to be talking about is that you have to be passionate. Entrepreneurship, I've learned that I really have to be passionate about what I'm doing. Now, I've learned that it's not about the money. I've learned that it's not about the followers. I've learned that it's not about the subscribers. It's really about why am I doing this? Am I truly happy with what I'm doing? <laughs> am I truly 
content with what I'm doing? Is this something that fulfills me? Is this something that makes me happy? You know, and those business videos, yes, they were getting views, but was I really happy? Like, yes, I was happy helping you guys. I love helping. I love inspiring. But these type of videos is what really makes me happy. I'm getting emotional because this is, I love talking. I love being able to motivate and inspire. Talking is something that if y'all don't shut me up, I will do it till tomorrow. But this is something that motivates me and that keeps me going. And you know, you have to do something, do things that you're passionate about. Don't do videos. This is something that I'm learning. Like I'm not doing videos because of the views. Like at first I was, but now it's not even about the views. It's about me truly being happy. You know, YouTube, you know, if people don't resonate with this or don't want to watch this. It is what it is. But this is something that I enjoy filming. I'm truly passionate about. This is something that when going into entrepreneurship, you have to keep in the back of your head is that Whatever you're doing, make sure you put your all into it. Make sure you're actually passionate about it. I know that I'm not only going to be selling lashes for the rest of my life because I'm not, I'm not gonna say I'm not passionate about lashes, but there's more to life and there's more to me than lashes. There's a lot of stuff that I'm going to offer and that's something that, you know, take it day by day and know what you're passionate about, know your why, know what motivates you. What motivates me is being able to help other people. What motivates me is being able to evolve and grow and every day learn something new. What motivates me is being able to feed my minds with positivity. What motivates me is being able to be happy, genuinely happy in life. And in order for me to do that, I need to do things that I'm passionate about and know my why, know my reason, know my purpose for being here in life. That's what motivates me. That's what keeps me going. Being able to inspire other people to do things that maybe they didn't want to do, to step out of their comfort zone like I have, to know that it is okay to deal with certain things, to know that it is okay to struggle, to know that it is okay to go through all of these things and to know that you're not alone, to know that like me, it Ozuna, I go through shit just like you to know that I am human. So that is what is my passion. That is what keeps me going. And that is what I want to do for the rest of my life is be able to motivate and inspire through my brand. Like I said, I'm not only going to be a lash brand. I'm going to be incorporating a lot of many different things, but this is just the beginning. And that is my why. That is my motivation. That is my inspiration every single day. You know, we were, we all are once inspired by other people and we're continuously inspired. But who really motivates and inspires me is me. Okay, I don't want to be like nobody else besides me. This is something that I'm every day learning to understand and learning to love myself. And this is where self-love and self-care comes into play because I literally look at who I was years ago to now and I start crying because I'm really becoming who I want. Every single day, I'm getting closer to Ada. Like, the Ada, that bitch. Like, I'm really getting closer to who I really want to become in life. And getting closer to my goals every single day. So that is what motivates me, is being able to push through despite of what people say. Being able to push through despite of what goes on in my life. Being able to push through despite the hard times, just being able to push. And that's what motivates me. So that's what I'm passionate about. I'm passionate about talking and sharing my experience and my lessons, things that I've learned, even if I'm not a professional, even if I haven't been in the game for many, many years, but I want to, I'm passionate about being raw and transparent. I want to be real and transparent. I'm not a person that is going to hold anything back. I'm real. Like, that's what I'm passionate. I'm passionate about being able to help you guys. And I'm going to try to be as transparent and real as possible without crossing any boundaries. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something from it. I hope you guys can relate. And I want to let you guys know that you're not alone with whatever you're going through. So, yeah, expect this type of content. I love talking. So, <laughs> there's a lot of videos that's going to be me just sitting down and talking. So I hope you guys enjoy this content. Thank you guys so much for your support and your love. And I just appreciate every single one of you guys. So make sure to go ahead and follow my business page on Instagram at Shopajales Collections. Make sure to go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Ada Ozuna. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Click on the bell so you can be notified every single time I post. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Ada out.